Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do a recording of a PowerPoint lecture into a video format. Here I've got a set of uh, six slides uh, that I use, that will be used for this uh, workshop on how to create a PowerPoint lecture video using a PowerPoint. I'm using Microsoft Office PowerPoint 2013 or my Office 365 as it's called. Now, from 2010 version onwards, you can use this functionality. Now, what I'm going to create now is to insert a narration into each slide. And this is the uh, easiest way to do. So, what I do is go into the ribbon here and insert. And I'm going to go and add an audio file. And I'm going to record an audio file. I click on this. And here we get this icon. Uh, for recording audio onto this file. It will be embedded into this file. So when I'm ready to commence the recording, I will click on the red button and it will commence recording. Hello, my name is Vaikuntan Rajaratnam and today I'm going to give you a short talk on how to create a video lecture using your PowerPoint. There, I have now created a voice file and uh, what I'm going to do now is drag this because this will be in the way and put it at the corner here and I can check by clicking on it to see whether the audio file has been recorded. Hello, my name is Vaikuntan Rajaratnam and today I'm going to give a short talk on how to create a video lecture using your PowerPoint. Okay, that sounds fine and I'm going to then now put the narrations to every single of the slide. Now I have uh, created uh, all the audios in every single uh, slide as you can see and I'm now ready to create a, a final PowerPoint uh, video using this. So we've now got every single slide in this lecture with an audio narration that has been embedded into the slide. So this is the beauty of the uh, Office 2010 and above PowerPoint. We now need to save this file, save as, uh, we determine which folder it's going to go to and here we have determined to go into this folder and I would strongly recommend that you save it in whatever title that you've given to it as a PowerPoint presentation first. When that is done, you have the original as a PowerPoint pre presentation. And then what you do is, once you've saved the original now, you clicked here at the second box and go down and choose the video format which you want to save as. As you can see, 2013, allows for MPEG-4 video, but I would suggest that you save it as Windows Media File. So that is Windows Media File. And when you click Save, uh, since I've already saved it, it gives me a warning that I'm going to override it. I'll say no, and I'll just put this as to uh, test uh, because I'm going to delete it at the end of this uh, presentation. Here you are. It is now attempting to render this as a video. You can see at the bottom here it is creating, this is the file name, it takes a while. As you can see uh, it's just now a little bit bar, it doesn't fill up this whole bar it will probably take about 10 minutes but you can carry on preparing your next lecture. So there you have it a nice simple uh, modification of the latest Microsoft PowerPoint to be able to save your video lecture uh, as your PowerPoint lecture as a video. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you and goodbye.